Real quick before we jump into this video, don't mind me, I am currently dying from all the sawdust at work today, but I just want to let all you guys know that as you can see behind me, our racks are full, all of our Work For It hats are back in stock. Head on over to WorkForItApparel.com right now, there'll be a link right here, let's jump to this video. What's up and good morning guys, welcome back to another video, it's about... Uh, just a little bit after 5 a.m. We're getting loaded up today. We've got another truck show we're going to, but this one's a lot more important than just a bunch of people hanging out, um, showing off their vehicles. If you guys remember, I think it was two truck shows ago. You know, most of these shows are about two and a half plus hours away from where I live. Um, and on the way back from one of these shows, the entire freeway right in front of us ended up getting shut down. And it, uh, it got shut down, unfortunately, because there was a CHP officer that had pulled somebody over and a car kind of plowed into the vehicle that he pulled over and him and unfortunately ended up killing him. So it was a pretty crazy day. Um, what should have been a two and a half hour drive ended up taking us almost four and a half hours. I think Chris ended up almost taking five hours to get home. Um, and then in like that strange turn of events, it just so happens that today is kind of a, a benefit car show for his family. So, so of course we have to show up. We have to show our support. You guys know I'm a big uh, supporter of law enforcement, first responders, the military. So of course we've got the BBB here outfitted with the American flags on my speed poles. I thought I had a 3x5 thin blue line flag. Unfortunately I only have a 4x6 flag and the speed pole flag poles are set up for 3x5s. So I can't fly the thin blue line flag that I had. Uh, I really wanted to but it's, it's in the truck though. We're still bringing it. Watch out, Eddie. We got some competition for you, buddy. Carlos, this is our style right here, bro. I, I do like this Check one. Check this thing out. Oh. This thing's clean. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Where's your fat scoop? <laughs> this <laughs> beautiful. Oh, Carlos, I see the I see the AccuAir, bro. He's got it, too. <laughs> now we got Wheezy over here. We, Wheezy better watch out, bro. Ooh. Dude, look at that bed. Holy crap. Thriller. Suicide doors. Yeah, that's not a cheap paint job. Yeah. I always wonder when I see vehicles like this, like the guy that owns it has to do airbrushing, right? I don't like, know, man. Cause oh, yeah. Or the amount of money you have to spend to pay insane. somebody to do the airbrushing on this thing is crazy. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, hold on, it's not working. This is, uh, this is a new take on car shows right here. This is a trip. <laughs> Man, this guy's going places. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys? Yep, my dad. Did the actual 69? 69, yeah. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful car, man. Thank you. She needs a few things, you know, uh, like a new chrome, and, but step by step because all the Mopar uh, parts are very expensive. Yeah. But uh, start we fix the transmission, now the engine, and she runs fine and nice. We, we can almost drive the car. Uh, everywhere now when you were in france did they play the dukes of hazard <laughs> is that why you had to move to america i have i have the small one from uh, my dad nice but to me when i turned eight years old and i still have it that's oh, awesome wow. and i have to waiting yeah, 35 years before to buy one you know <laughs> so you're telling me you won't take 30 grand cash for it no Okay. I had to try. I had to try. I'm not, smart. Yeah. Smart. I try to buy every General Lee I see. You're a truck guy, bro. Don't be going over to the Mustang line. <laughs> no, we traded. We traded. We traded. We traded. Where's the uh, Where's the airbag switch? Right oh, here. Somewhere over here. Oh, watch out! Watch out! This thing's too small for me. 
No, nah, bro, you just sit in the back seat. Look at it. Oh, you raise it up? Yeah, and then slam it down. There you go. Super clean. Was it just a wrap? No, airbrush. He airbrushed it? Yep. Dang. All right, what do you guys think? You guys think I should do something like this underneath the hood of the old BBB build? Yeah. Or should we uh, leave it boring and plain black plastic? Crazy the tolerances you guys work with. Like, yeah, that's can't that's even get a finger in there. Annoying, let me tell yeah, you. that's crazy. We worry about having like four inches of clearance, and we still rub. And you guys are pulling like a quarter inch at most. All right, everybody, we got Cody here. Cody, I, I couldn't take my eyes off this beautiful truck here, brother. Can you tell us a little bit about it? So, a uh, '68 F100. Um, it took pretty much three trucks to build one out of it. Uh, it was just sitting on a frame in a farm field, picked it up and had an idea I want to put the big tires and keep it low and nice. just started putting everything together and kind of piecing and puzzling and it turned out like this, luckily. I love it, I love it. Yeah. What engine are you running? So it's got a FE390, uh, the original motor that came in the truck, it's built, bored out, uh, kept the AC in it, uh, just put a bigger radiator, power steering. Um, yeah, it runs great, runs cool in summer and uh, it's an awesome cruiser, man, got plenty of power. So I had, I had to power those big tires, so I had to build right, the motor, right. yeah. So I got 35 BFGs on it. Um, Mickey Thompson rims at OMF built the B-locks for it. It's got Fox shocks under it, uh, geared right. It's, just, it's a perfect truck, man. Perfect summer truck, whatever. Turn the window wipers on, heater on, whatever. That's what I love about it. I could tell by walking up to it that you kept all the comfort. Yeah. To work. Oh. You know, I love these old dude, trucks, it, but, but you have to want to drive them. Oh, dude, yeah. And, you know, I didn't want to. And then I got stuck in the first rainstorm in it. Gotcha. And I turned on the window wipers heater. And, and then from there, I drive it all the time now. So no, this thing is beautiful, yeah, man. Yeah. I love every detail you did on this thing. You did just enough new with just enough old. Yeah, yeah, dude. I the I had the re I, the gas tank using the bed of these trucks or in the behind the seat. Right. And I relocate under the bed right here. So if you flip up that little cap right here, this is where it's fuel it up right here. Awesome. Keep the That's fumes. Clean. And then uh, come back over here. We got rid of the got rid of the gas tank and just put two two ten kickers in it or jail. Oh, nice. Yeah. There so you go. fit that whole space in there and love it yep so it's got a radio old school radio but it's got bluetooth and that's killer. everything in it so it, yeah man. man it's just i love the color so i got a 97 yep. obs and i've been dying to figure out what wheel and tire combo <laughs> i want to go because i can only go 35s on the yeah. lift i got for it yep. and i might have just found it dude you got to do it man this they're the mickey thompson's made this rim back in the day but they discontinued it so I want it so bad, and luckily the guys at OMF re uh, made it the, where I wanted it. That's so it's, awesome. Yeah, 15 inch rim, and uh, I love the look. I love how the, it kind of tucks in the back. Yeah, a little dude. Bit. Yeah, it barely clears, man, like that much. So, <laughs> yeah. but it clears. So I had to choose, and then color I had to choose between red and turquoise. So uh, no, you made the right choice. I think, I, yeah. So it seems the girls like it, so it's all good. But, there you go. <laughs> yeah, man. It's, That's important. It's a hitter. Well, so. Uh, I mean, you're not you're not the first vehicle I've tried to buy today, <laughs> but would you sell it? Oh gosh, dang it. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> That's the right answer. I've had a stupid number on this. The, when I got it done, I threw a high number of what I, want this, what I would get right. rid of it. Within two weeks, a guy offered me what that number was. And then he still So now I bumped it. it up way more. <laughs> so I'm like, no, I don't want to. I respect that mood. Uh, listen, putting all the work into it, Yeah. I wouldn't want to let it go. And one either. of a kind. I mean, people are trying the copying, which is cool. I'll help yeah. anybody out, but it just seems nobody can figure it out. So. Tim, tell us a little bit about your car here, buddy. Well, it's a 1972 Plymouth Barracuda. Nice. I purchased in 2003 for $4,000. Wow. And it took me about mm, seven years, and I don't even want to say how much because my wife's right there. <laughs> understood, understood. But this is what it originally looked like. It was pretty rough. Awesome. Yeah, she's come a long ways, I'd say. An automatic originally, and I transferred to a four speed. Awesome. Mm. These seats came out of a uh, Mazda MX-6 from a junkyard, and I just refurbished them. The engine's a 440, four thirty thousandths over with a uh, high-rise intake manifold and oversized cam. All American racing tires. I don't know, Carlos. I like this wheel and tire setup too. What are those? It might be metal. Are they? One thing I like about this show compared to a lot of the shows we go to is there's a lot of nice older lifted trucks that people actually completed. A lot of times at these shows you see trucks that are 
half done. Um, I can't even find one right now. <laughs> the, the international over here. <laughs> Check this old international out. This thing is crazy. You do not see these things anywhere. It's got a much better center console than my old Ford does. This is a 1971 uh, Chevy K5 or K20. Got it's two. got a uh, 468, um, 650 horsepower, 650 foot-pounds of torque uh, nice. motor with a 4L80E uh, overdrive trans in it. Okay. I did a complete frame off. Uh, it's got a 14-bolt rear end in it. The interior is all leather, custom interior I put in it. Can I check it out? Yeah. I finished it in about, oh, 2000, nice. about 2008. Really? You've had it that long? Yeah. It still looks like you just finished it. I bought it in, um, I bought the truck in, I think it was 2003, something like that. Gotcha. But um, had to do a bunch of body work. It used to have a sunroof on it, so it's a whole completely different roof, different nice. bed. That's about it. About six inch, four inch lift, six inch lift? It's got a uh, five inch uh, Deaver spring nice. uh, lift on it. No, this thing's rear. absolutely beautiful. And then the Ford is yours too? Ford mine too. Can we check that out? So the Chevy is always one I wanted to have in high school. Didn't um, uh, have one back then. Yeah. It's same with the Ford. So both of them. Awesome. So I kind of have a little of both. But the Ford I bought about two years ago and did the same thing. Took it off the frame. That one I built almost completely all original. So if it was to roll off the showroom floor, that's what I wanted it to look like. These are two out of about uh, 20 of my cars. I have 20 no different way. cars. I have early Broncos. I have rock crawlers. I'm, I'm really uh, in with the, the Currys are really good friends of mine. Okay. Um, I'm a GM guy, but I have a love for old Fords. Out of the two, what's your favorite? I got to go with my red. All right. Just uh. because I, but that one has a special place. Uh, gotcha. You know, even the, down to the license plate, the guy I bought it from, his name was Frank. And um, I like that you like stories are important to you because to me, it's, it's the same way. It's huge. I, I want mean, the story. I want the heritage. I want all that. The guy had it since it was almost brand new. That's and awesome. When I bought it from him, he actually cried. He, he had, uh, I don't can't remember what you call it, but he couldn't feel his feet anymore. So he couldn't work the clutch. Oh, okay. And I just went down and I saw it. One of my big things with the YouTube channel is I try and promote blue collar work. And I try and promote like just getting out there and obviously work for it on the grill of my truck, like work for right. what you want. I don't know. Absolutely. I see a I see a mechanical hat you're wearing. I'm, Just out of curiosity, is it is that the industry you're in? I'm a heating air conditioning. I own a heating air conditioning company. All right, it's and I'm gonna I'm gonna control. guess based on the amount of vehicles I've heard so far, it's worked out well for you. Worked out very well. My son Kyle, he uh, he wants to become a firefighter. He works for me three days a week That's as awesome. well as doing the fire. I um, love hearing that. So man. you don't have the hands on like you do anymore. A lot of these kids they don't understand it. Yep. They don't they don't know. Right. And so where's that tray going to go? Just like in high school, we were in auto shop and we were building things and we were doing things. These kids don't know it, so they, yep. need, to, they need to bring that back. No, that's awesome. And, I'm, and that's where he, he knows it. Well, I'm glad to see it also worked out well for you because, you know, the proof is in the pudding and, and being able to tell other people's stories is what I love about having the YouTube channels. I can tell other people's stories aside from my own. Absolutely. And, and being able to prove it because there's too many teachers and too many classrooms that are preaching that that college degree is the only key to success. Yep. Whereas, I mean, I don't know if you ever went to college. I didn't. Oh, I did. I was. I thought I was gonna be a firefighter. Okay. And, and once again, that was a thing I went towards and I started making money and doing both and decided, you know, away I went with my business and the That's heating awesome. air conditioning. So. Well, congratulations. I'm glad to hear it worked out for you. Thank it's you. nice meeting you. My you name too. is Brian, by the way. Brian, Dave. Dave, nice to meet you. Dave, can I check out the interior of that truck real quick? Sure. This has a, actually has the original not the original to the truck, but the original upholstery. So nice. I found there's a place in Oregon that sells the original vinyl. So this is the original from 1971 oh, vinyl beautiful. that I found. So. I love it, man. I, I like the way you restore yourself too. I mean, I like both. Like in So this one's kind of my street rod version right. of a truck. This is old school original. <laughs> My name is Officer Mike Lassig. I'm with the California Highway Patrol. The community that, that came out to this event today um, came out to our CHP booth and donated, whether it was cash or checks um, or just, you know, a prayer for us. Thank you so much. Um, once again, $6,905 from the community coming together to help out the Lacone family from this tragic incident. Um, I would like to touch on this, you know, it's Cinco de Mayo. 
I got to put out that safety message. Um, if you drink, don't drive. DUIs are 100% avoidable. All right, guys. Well, that's kind of the end of another show. Obviously, uh, you know, I like coming out to anything that supports law enforcement. This was a good show. Unfortunately, um, you know, in all too similar circumstances, I was one of the lucky ones that made it out in a drunk driving accident. When I got hit, um, the CHP officer was also hit by a drunk driver, and unfortunately, he didn't survive that accident. So, uh, you know, if there could be anything you pull from this video, it is to do not drink and drive. Uh, you know, in the days of Lyft and Uber and all that stuff, it's too easy to get a ride and not drink and drive. That being said, before we wrap up this video, I know I, I've done a quick little brief overview of this truck right here. But, you know, there's not too many solid axle swapped trucks that we do on the channel. Not too many manual Duramaxes that we do on the channel. Uh, not too many trucks with Dave's favorite diff blocker on the channel. <laughs> Bro, if you guys want to see a video of this truck, let me know. This thing is uh, is a beat. We got compound turbos. Yep, STP compound turbos, uh, S four seventy five over stock. The All right, you're giving too much info. You're giving too much info. Uh, if you guys want to see this truck, let me know. He uh, lives close enough to me. He could take it down to the warehouse, and then, I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, we might need to prove to the channel I could drive a manual. It's up to you. Oh, oh. It's, it's up to you. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Uh, I don't know. I don't. Know. All right. We can make something. Happen. All right. Well, let me know if you guys want to see more of this truck in the comments, and check out his YouTube channel. What's your YouTube channel? It's uh, Duramax underscore Diesel. There Plain you go. and simple. Easy. Easy. Easy day. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now. That way you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, aka a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out WorkForWorkApparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you just saw from our guy over there with all the beautiful restored trucks who owns an HVAC company. You've got to be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. Take it, brother. Have a good one, guys. That's Hopefully not it. see you soon. That's not know. it. Work for it. Nope. I don't know. Come on. <laughs> what? Come on. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't know. He's not a fan. I'm He's not. a poser. I thought you watched the videos. I do. I do. Oh, how do we end I the videos? Just, I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't watch the end. I, I'm too busy. Oh, jeez. Roll the outro. Roll the outro. Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.